Today I would like to show you all uh, the basic operation of the driver or some of these are driver and some of the some of the calibration laboratory they calling calling this one is temperature block calibrator. Okay. Whereby the function of the driver actually just uh, mainly is to produce the heat to perform the calibration of the sensor. So this uh, this one is a thermocouple thermocouple sensor with a meter. Okay, and this is the reference we're going to use. This one we call it PT100 or platinum resistant thermometer. Okay. Okay. Normally in the dry block, the the design of the dry block they have two two part. Okay. So this is the part whereby is using to the because when we want to test for the temperature sensor, we cannot direct putting in the hole because if not fit the possible will be heat will be transferred to other other way around so they cost the accuracy therefore we need to design design another another block whereby they can fit for the all the sizes and this one it can be custom made whereby for this for our this dry block and this block actually we design mainly is to use for the use for the main of the how to say in the market in the market, uh, all the diameter will be similar in either is 6 mm, 8 mm, or more. So this one is uh, very general sizes. Okay. Okay. First, we would like to choose the hole. Okay. So for this, for these cases, okay, this hole is very suitable. Let me let us see. Okay. And for sensor hole, we are going to try on this. Yeah, it fits. Uh, it's, this, this one is too fit. So we want to put and uh, this part. Okay, this one is nice. Okay. So be careful. We have to put in slowly. Okay. Okay. Due to in the market, actually they have few type of uh, dry bulb. Some it was without the reference indicator. But for us, it's very troublesome because when if without the in reference indicator, means that we need to use another external indicator to hook up with our PT hundred reference. So it's especially when we are using this rod going to site, actually it's quite troublesome for our technician because they are like not so convenient and we need to get ready a lot of the boxes. Okay, so for this one, we are custom made it and we are make this controller. The, this bottom corner be a reference as an indicator to connect with our reference sensor. Okay. So for sure, actually, all the PT hundred actually they have their own sensor. You need to be uh, need to be connect. So you need because they are using the resistance concept. So actually we need to make sure that they are connect to the correct port because especially for the three wire this this one is a three wire sensor uh, the b uh, b in the small capital actually is the to compensate the error of the this a and b sensor uh, a and b port Okay, so this one just plug in the correct port whereby just now we are inside and this is a reference. Okay, so few things need to be taken into consider when we want to calibrate the sensor. Example, uh, the first thing is the Excel. Excel means Excel error. Means that Excel means that actually it's a vertical error. We are still to the different sensor. They may have the different sensing point. Like thermocouple sensing point will be here, and the PD hundred the sensing point will be in the one within the one inch. Okay. So due to this reason, so the dry block performance of the dry block should be have, should be have to take into consider for the Excel. Means that the vertical error. Okay. Mm. ok 
Okay, so now we're going to example for the first point we want to test for the hundred. So this the uh, this one is the set setting indicating. We want we set to the one hundred. Okay, and we wait. As you can see, actually here they have two different temperatures. You see, as you, this one twenty eight actually is belong to the internal internal controller temperature, and this one twenty six. 0.7 actually is belong to this sensor because just now I'm just put in the pole so that's why they have made some different on that but after a while actually they will be should be similar but possible it will be nothing this is because the dry bulb they are measuring this dry bulb sensor actually is measuring in the internal heating heating part but the reference is measuring together with the sensor UUT so it means that that's why Dry bulb actually they cannot be a reference to the thermocouple or the any sensor. So that's why we need to use another external highest reference sensor to be a reference during we are taking reading. We cannot direct taking the reading at the setting on the dry bulb. Okay. Now we set to 100 and we wait for the stable. Wait is until stable. Okay, so now we are after we are setting for 100 wow okay as you can see so this is a reference so the temperature is still increasing so means that in this moment actually the temperature is not advisable to be taken because we are not stable yet so we need to wait until the temperature increase until a while is no more fluctuate uh, i mean just like this no more fluctuate uh, then only we can start to take it really Okay, from the, this controller, as you, as you can see, the PV is an indicator value whereby they are keep going, going down, up, down, up, down. Actually, this is uh, not very common because um, due to this, due to the driver, actually, they are using the cut off, cut off concept. Whereby from here, you can see the indicator up one, they are keep going blinking. Actually, the concept is like that. When we set to 100, they are, they are, they will cut the heater will be start to, the sensor will tell the heater uh, you you have you are going to start to heat heat up so when the temperature is read up to 100 then the sensor will tell the heater again you have to cut off so when they cut off the heater will be cooling cooling down so when they are lower than the 100 then the heater will be on back so by continuous on off on off that's why uh, that only the, that, that's why we can see the PV the value will be up down up down or uh. okay so how to judge that how to judge that the temperature actually is ready to use yeah it's very easy so by comparing the UUD and the reference we can, as we can see when they are consistently they are increasing and consistently they are uh, reducing. Okay, so means that actually that there's a time we can taking up taking up the reading. Okay, but however, for this case, because uh for this case we can't see much um different because of the this this indicator only is zero point one degrees C. So what I mean is just now is actually is talking about the two decimal or three decimal point in behind. So then we will, we will very obvious you can see that uh the temperature will be increased and decreased. Mm. So for this case, actually, we uh, we can take it. We can start taking reading. Okay, as you can see, the heater 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 reading is one hundred eight. But however, our reference showing one hundred nine. So in this this case, actually, we should take the reading in this indicator. Why? Because the one hundred actually is the reading or inside the heating, but it's not in the block. So what we are more interested is to know the what is the temperature actual temperature in the block because our UD is set up between in the side of the reference so in this case there may have some you can see as you can see the error will be 101 minus 98.5 yeah so for sure the reference sensor we may have some error on that also so this one need to refer back to the calibration certificate and apply the correction to get the actual value after that compare against with the UUD union the test so this uh, our, this is the actual way to uh, using the driver to uh, with the reference sensor to calibrate the thermocouple yeah that's all thanks